quick total station setup. Start by extending just one tripod leg so that the instrument plate is level with about your sternum or your chin if you're setting up on a softer surface. Lock the leg and extend the rest to the same length. As you spread the three legs, eyeball about two feet past your control point and rest the leg furthest from you against the ground so it steadies the tripod and holds it in position as you expand the other legs before placement. You're looking for about three feet from leg to leg or two feet from each back to the common center point. I've eyeballed that I'm approximately level, swept the instrument plate clear of any debris, and I'm ready for the total station. Remember to close your instrument case so it doesn't end up full of dust from sight work. And as you transport the instrument, always use two hands to prevent any fumbles. One on the handle, one supporting the bottom. Even as I set the instrument on the tripod as I'm threading the 5-8 set screw, I support the total station with my other hand to ensure it doesn't tip over. Thread it hand tight, there's no need to over tighten. I'm going to point my right toe at the control point as I look through the optical plummet the first time. Here's why. Okay, so I'm on asphalt, that much is clear. Next, I'll grab hold of the two legs closest to me and lightly move them forward and back or left and right until I find my target. Hmm, that mag nail is pretty small though, aha. There's my boot and I know that at the end of that is the point. I used my foot placement to be able to search for something much larger and then navigate to the right spot quickly, and then set the legs down when I was almost exactly over the point. Okay, I'm using full body weight, and I'm going to step in all the legs individually. This is super important on soft surfaces, but even asphalt often yields a little when really securing foot placement. You don't want the instrument to slowly sink over the course of the day and ruin level or the accuracy of your turned angles because your backside has drifted. All right, let's see how that affected the optical plummet. Not terrible, but let's get right over the point before we level so that we're not wasting steps after we're level, moving the instrument over the point or adjusting level back and forth. I'm using the foot screws to adjust the position of the optical plummet. I'm adding this diagram to show my body's orientation to the foot screws and my hand placement. I'm parallel to the y-axis foot screw in blue, and my left hand, thumb, and index finger will control the movement of that axis. I'm perpendicular to the x-axis foot screws, and my right hand, thumb, and index finger will control both of these foot screws at once, rotating them inward together or outward together. Yes, that's all hands on deck, but I really want you to concentrate on your thumbnails during this exercise. Notice what they'll tell us. If I rotate my left hand away and my thumbnail moves left, the optical plummet moves left. If I rotate my left hand towards me and my thumbnail moves right, the optical plummet moves right. Similarly, if I squeeze my right hand, thumb, and index finger in together and my right thumbnail moves away from me, so does the optical plummet. If I expand my thumb and index finger, and my thumbnail moves towards me, so does the optical plummet. Okay, it looks like we're in the right spot. Let's get ready to rough level the instrument by adjusting the tripod legs. Rough leveling the tripod should take two adjustments. Let me show you how. I've separated the instrument from the tri-brac, so you can see the rough bubble clearly while we adjust. Notice that the high side where the bubble rests is between two legs and isn't opposite to the third either. What we want to do is adjust one leg, so that the bubble is over or opposite to another leg, then adjust that leg and you're done. Let me show you. First, I'll adjust one leg down to shift the high point directly over another leg. Great, locking the lever. Now we're going to adjust the new high point down, but I wanted to show you my hand placement as I adjust tripod legs. Notice that when I unlock the lever with one hand, the thumb and index finger of my other hand secure the now free sliding top half of the tripod and my middle finger is resting on the fixed bottom half keeping the tripod leg from simply sliding down giving slack with that finger allows me to adjust down or pushing away from the fixed part of the leg allows me to adjust up this lets me adjust the tripod in a very precise and controlled way if you have trouble doing it with one finger you can use two hands if necessary okay let's adjust this leg so I lowered the leg on my left to move the high point over the second leg. Now I adjust it down, the bubble moves right into the center, and our rough level is done. Repeat the two-step process as necessary if you don't nail it the first time. 
but be sure that you have these two steps in mind every time you need to adjust a leg. Let's see what adjusting the legs did to the optical plummet. Huh, almost nothing. Okay, so adjusting the foot screws moves the optical plummet. Adjusting the legs does not, or at least not much, noted. We're rough leveled and over the point. Let's move to fine leveling using our Total Station's digital leveling feature, though the same principles apply to bubbles if you're running older equipment. Turning the instrument on defaults to the leveling screen first. For some, you might have to rotate your telescope up and down a little to wake it up. All right, the x-axis reads positive 1 minute 33 seconds. Positive means it's out of level above the axis midline shown in white. You can see this repeated by the position of the x-axis only bubble on the right. If the numbers were negative, that would mean it was below the midline, and the x-axis only bubble on the right would be below the midline as well. The y-axis reads positive one minute flat. This means it's to the right of the axis midline, still shown in white, and that's reflected on the y-axis only bubble at the bottom of the display. Negative numbers would fall on the left, and the y-axis only bubble would match. Let's start the fine level adjustment. Here's my body and hand position, still parallel to the y-axis foot screws, still perpendicular to the x-axis, both hands adjusting simultaneously. To adjust the x-axis and its bubble, I'm using the thumb and index finger of my right hand simultaneously, but concentrating on my thumbnail movement. Rolling the two dials inward together means my thumbnail moves away, so does the bubble. Numbers would grow in the positive direction. Rolling the two dials outward together, right thumbnail travels towards me, so does the bubble. Numbers would head in the negative direction. Y-axis, you know the deal. Thumbnail left, bubble goes left. Numbers go negative. Thumbnail right, bubble right, numbers grow positive. Okay, let's do it. I've shown my foot screw locations right on the instrument display. My X is positive, so I need to adjust it down. That's out together on the foot screws. My Y axis is positive, so it needs to go left. There we go. I aim for under eight seconds for either axis. Let's see what that did to our optical plummet. It's off, but that's a distance we can make up by sliding the total station into place along the instrument plate of the tripod. I'll just barely unthread the 5.8 set screw. And as I slide the instrument, remember the top plate of the tripod isn't level. The foot screws are leveled to the plate in two directions. If I rotate the instrument, the foot screws will no longer be adjusted to the plate. Instead, I have to be sure to slide the total station along the two axes that have been leveled, which is easy because they match my foot screw alignment. First, I'll move up along the x-axis, parallel to the same two foot screws that have been on my right this whole time. Then I'll move right along the y-axis until I'm right on. That's beautiful. But what did that do to my fine level? Well, let's hand tighten our set screw and check. X-axis is good. Y-axis is negative, so that means thumbnail needs to move right. Yep. Gotta verify the plummet, right? Nothing affects it like the foot screws. That was such a small adjustment, we're still good. So fine leveled under eight seconds, check exactly over the point, check. Let's get to work. Thanks for visiting Lean Survey. There are plenty more best practice, quick tricks, and tip videos on the way. Be sure to like, leave a comment if you have recommendations for content, and click that subscribe button for more.